It's 5.30 in the morning on Vlogtober Day 27 and I am on my way to the gas station and then I'm getting my mother and we are going to the Ann Arbor Fiber Expo today. I seem like I'm really awake, but I'm running on two hours of sleep. <laughs> um, after my bath and everything last night, I ended up trying to go to sleep after I uploaded the last vlog and I couldn't fall asleep until almost 2 a.m. And I had to get up at 4 to get ready to leave. So, if I'm super zoned out today, I apologize in advance to anybody I see. <laughs> Holly's daughter star? Yeah. And it's the best friends? Yeah. Mom, did you enjoy the show? Yes. Wait, we had a very nice time and I bought lots of goodies that I will show in just a minute for you guys, but a couple hours for me. Honey Pom. Yes. Miss Kelly from the Miller Girls was so sweet and gave Abigail a little bunny pink bunny pom pom. Say thank you, Miss Kelly. Thank you, Miss Kelly. <laughs> It's Vlogtober day 28, day after the Ann Arbor Fiber Expo. I am home. I am finally recuperated from the trip. So um, I figure let's go ahead and check out my awesome, amazing yarn of goodness that I brought home and talk about the trip a little bit. So um, as per usual on fiber festival evenings um i only got about two hours of sleep <laughs> i think it's just that christmas time feeling you get when you're so excited about something that you just can't sleep that was pretty much me so i got about two hours of sleep got up around four o'clock in the morning left the house around 5 30 got some gas and some coffee and a water went and picked up my mother drove down picked up abigail and then we went over to ann arbor um we got there at like 8.30, <laughs> so we were waiting in line for a little bit, but it's okay. Totally worth it. I I had a list of people I wanted to see and buy from and all these things, and I totally just kind of went to people I know real quick first and ended up like blowing all my money halfway through, <laughs> but it was so much fun. 
So when we got there, before we even made it inside, I recognized um, Lisa from Splash of Color Yarns, who does the camouflage yarn. And I told her, I'm coming to see you later. And she told me where she was. So I made sure to make a mental note of that. I'm going to move this down. There we go. Um, so then after that, when we were standing in line to get in, um, I ran into Kathy. She was there with her husband, and she was on her way to a class. So we didn't get to chat. Um, pretty much, she I know she was taking like two classes that day, and I passed her doing one. So I happened to catch her on camera later in passing um, when she was in one of her classes later on in the day. <laughs> so... Once we got in, um, there was three barns set up. The last barn had, like, the animals and stuff in the back. And we started making our loop around. By the time I got down one side of the barn, I ran into Kim from Chasing Acorns slash Adventures in Craft, who makes amazing bags. Um, I, don't, I didn't bring mine in here. I brought my owl bag with me that I bought from her that I was using like crazy. Um, I brought it with a project in it in case I somehow had a chance to make anything while I was there. And I ended up using it as my shopping bag. It was so big, it fit pretty much everything I bought in it. So, that I'll, I'll show you at the end how much I bought, and that'll give you an idea of how big these bags really are. Because <laughs> I had my keys and stuff in it, too. But she was done at the end, and they weren't quite set up because we were there so early. Um, we ended up going around finishing out that loop and then coming back and seeing her. When I got down there, she was with Ice Melon's Stash Yarn, whom I have always seen at the last couple, um, fiber shows I went to, but I had no idea that Kim was, like, even slightly connected with them in any way. And their booth always stands out. And if you watched the last Fiber Expo from Ann Arbor in April, you'll remember this. They have the Jared, well, I guess it's not Jared in the show. They have the Dean Winchester poster because they have supernatural colored yarns. And every time I see them, I always think I should probably get one of those. I should probably get one of those. So this time, I got one. Ta -da! Um, there's a couple colorways that I really, really liked. And this time, I don't think I've ever noticed this one before. For some reason. I don't know if it's new. It's called, guess what, Not a Nurse. And it sounds familiar, so I know I've seen it, but I'm not, it's not clicking. I think there's what, like 10, 11, a million seasons at this point? I can't remember which one it's from. When I saw this in, in their booth, I honestly thought that this was like a burgundy color, and it kind of looks burgundy on here. When I got it outside in the sun, uh, it's really more of a purple color, like a deep purple with like a burgundy tone to it. So, you guys, this is amazing. I don't know if I can, you can kind of see. It looks a little bit more purple when I get it close. I freaking love this yarn. I'm so excited. This is, um, like I said, IceMelonStash.com. She is from Lansing. It is on her Desmos sock. Superwash, 80% uh, Superwash Merino and 20% Nylon, 400 yards, 3.5 ounces. It looks like a two-ply, which I, I love a good two-ply. I don't know what it is. I just like maybe the, the squish of it. My, probably one of my favorites is a two-ply. I have no idea what I'm making with it. I just knew that I had to get a Supernatural colorway while I was there this time. <laughs> And I'm so happy I did. She also, there was another one, something unicorns. I can't think of what it was. Like a whole like unicorn line. And it was amazing too. There was a couple there that my daughter wanted. But I bought this and I love it. It was one of those things where I had this one in my hand and I kept picking up other ones and then I would randomly go and put that one back. And this one never left my hand. So I figured this had to be the one that I bought. And I don't regret it. I have no idea what it's going to be. It's going to be amazing, though. Something special. I don't know if it'll be a hat or a shawl. We'll see. We'll figure something out. Um, Kim had 
some really amazing bags there too. I came for yarn. I almost bought a bag. It was so close. It was so bad. I had to keep walking because I have a lot of bags that, oh, I have a lot of bags. I shouldn't say I don't use them because they pretty much all have a project in them. And I love her bags. So if she ends up listing it on her Etsy, I'll probably have to buy it. It was like red and black with these like tattooed girls that had like a face paint. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was, oh, it called to me. It was gorgeous. Kim, I love your bags. I'm just saying. They're amazing. So we'll move on from there. Kim. Um, the next place I hit was Northern Bee Studios. If you haven't heard of them, I recommend checking them out. They are on, I believe, um, I want to say, I know they're on Instagram. I don't think they're on Ravelry. They have, they have their own website. It's northernbeestudio.com. I think it's away from the light, so it's not, so we'll do one of these. They do yarn clubs, wholesale events, and trunk shows. Northernbeastudio at gmail.com or northernbeastudio.com. Um, Melissa Highfield is the owner, dyer, and maker behind Northern Bee. Now, if they sound familiar, it's because the last Ann Arbor show, I bought five mini skeins. Um, there was like a very bright green one, a darker green one, a light gray one, and two that were a gray with flecks of the other green combinations throughout it. Like this one. <laughs> yes, I did buy a mini skein, a third of the same, and I was a little concerned that the dyes might be a little off, but I held it next to the other two, and it's it's spot on, you guys. It looks exactly the same. Obvious, obviously, the speckling is going to be a little bit different. Um, but the, the tonal gray and everything is pretty much exactly the same. So, I bought a third one of these to go with the other ones that I had bought um, in the spring while I was there. Because then I have six mini skeins and that's going to make a real nice shawl project. And I'm super excited to design something with these green-gray combinations that, for some reason, I seem to be completely obsessed with lately. Do you ever go through, like, phases with, like your yarn weights or your yarn colors or things like that is it is that just me because when I started out it was I need all the teals and purples and then it recently when I went to the last one I'm like I need all the speckles and this time well I think recently up until this trip this trip is nice and diverse you guys you're gonna be so proud of me but you know for that little stint there lately I've really been enjoying the the greens I didn't bring my shawl in here, did I? I should probably show you my shawl. Let me go grab it. Okay, so if I already posted pictures of me wearing this, you'll have already seen it, but I did finish in time. I don't know if I can get to the right way. There we go. I finished my In the Light shawl in time, so I still have to post pictures in the finished objects thread. I better do that tomorrow. Um, this is the In the Light shawl by Casey Day Crozier. We're going to take a quick break from the purchases to show you this because I'm so excited. You guys, oh, oh, and then it fades this one. This green is from um, Rainbow Rapunzel, who was there this time, so I did double check with her. It is Rainbow Rapunzel. I don't think she has anything online. I can't remember now. Um, then it fades into... Earl Grey by the Woolen Homestead, which you guys, it's so hard to pick up the different tones and everything in these when you're just doing a video of them. You can kind of see on that one. This Earl Grey, you can't really see it in the camera all that well, but it has the most gorgeous flex of the same chartreuse green with these dark browns and just these random hints of like these dark, I mean, dark greens with random hints of, like, dark brown and just a tiny, every now and then, like, a, almost a purpley brown. Super gorgeous. And then it goes down into my Hasco sock yarn. I blocked it out, but, and it looked real good and open, like, this bottom corner one here. Hi! <laughs> it looked real good and open, and then I wore it, and it 
kind of stretched out a little bit up here so it's a little more flat but oh, so happy with it I love this one so much it's one of those it it's like rainbows on a dreary day you know you got your grass and your sky and your rainbow right <laughs> it makes me very happy I love this so much I kind of realized I'm a fringe person. You know, there's pom-pom people and tassel people. I think I'm a fringe kind of person. And sparkles. Fringe and sparkles. I was just watching Holly um, from the Yarn Journey podcast, her last episode. And she was saying how she wears black all the time. And, you know, she's kind of got that gothic edge about her. And then she's making this quilt that's all pink and girly and Victorian lace. I'm like, Holly, this? That right there, that's me too. So that explains why we're like, you know, best friends five states over kind of thing. <laughs> so, let's get back to where I was. I just wanted to show off the shawl because I forgot that I hadn't shown it to you since I finished it. Um, I bought this mini skein from them. And I also bought this mini skein. Now, the, the sucky thing is, you guys, their mini skeins don't have the colorway name. So I don't know what colors I'm showing you. But they're fabulous. I saw this one and I instantly snagged it and never put it down. I had no doubt in my mind that this was going to be coming home with me instantly. It's so pretty. I'm going to also take pictures of everything because I know my lighting in here kind of sucks. Um, so hopefully as I blab, I'll be posting pictures here for you to see the true beauty of these amazing, amazing yarns that I got. And these are also... Like a squishy two-ply. <laughs> Love these so much. The, you guys, if you are looking for... I've worked with their yarn a couple times now. I'm pretty sure. Well, I have a lot of their yarn. I've worked with it once or twice. But it's fabulous. The colors are stunning. They also sell these things. I can't remember exactly what they're called. But they're essentially like 1,500 yards of yarn. That they dye up in like one batch. So it's all the same dye lot. No knots. 1,500 straight yards. No knot. One lot of color. Literally a sweater in the making. 1,500 yards. The problem, only problem I can think of with that is, how are you going to spin that onto a ball winder? You're just going to have to work right off of a Swift. Like an industrial sized Swift. That's the only problem I can think of. But that's still really amazing to me. So that's what I got from them. Now once I made it around that first area. And got out of there. Let me put this over here. <laughs> there we go. Um, in the middle. I ran into the lovely... Miss Kelly from the Miller Girls. Wait a second. Wait a second. Look at her hiding back there. Wave. Miss Kelly from the Miller Girls. Um, she did gift my sweet daughter a little bunny palm that she had. A little pink bunny palm. Because she picked it up and I was going to buy it for her. And she's like, she can have that because... I love you. I was like, I love you too, Kelly. But it wasn't like that for real. <laughs> she did gift it to her. Um, but it's in her room because she likes to like hold it when she goes to sleep. Because she, my daughter, in case anyone doesn't know this, my daughter has an obsession with bunnies. And now after this trip, she's dying for an Angora rabbit. <laughs> Which, I mean, hello gorgeous Angora yarn. So, that's a thought. It's a thought to go along with my and grow goats someday. <laughs> but the first time I met Kelly was at the last Ann Arbor show in April. And when I went to her booth, I saw a yarn. And it was like teals and blacks and grays. And I'm like, oh, Mom, I really like this one. So, but I really need to go with a different color. I got to get away from the teals this time. And I bought myself my red and black one, which... It's still in the process of becoming my Harley Quinn shawl. I mean, really, I pretty much have it written out. I just have to finish making it so I can take pictures. 
Um, but this time, this is my third time seeing Kelly at a trunk show, or at an expo, fiber festival, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So I finally caved and bought the original one that I first wanted. Again, the colors look kind of funky tonight, so I will be adding in some pictures of um, true colors, but it's got this gorgeous light, like, turquoise teal going through it, and then some blacks and grays, mm, 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 mm. and of course, hello, Sparkle, hello, Sparkle, <gasps> isn't it gorgeous? So here's Kelly's tag. I just talked about her recently because I had bought that other, um, silk blend from her. She does have the Facebook, um, and I believe she is, I talked to her about this, she is starting an Etsy. I think she said she only has a couple things up there right now, but she's working on it. So eventually at some point you will be able to get her stuff on Etsy. Um, as of right now, she does do a lot of things through Instagram. So follow her on Instagram at the Miller Girls. And I think she just does like PayPal real quick. So it works out great. But this is 75% um, Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, and 5% Stellina Sparkle. 438 yards. It's sock weight, obviously, um, with that kind of yardage. But you guys, this is 20 bucks. Her prices are unbeatable. 20 bucks for 438 yards. And this stuff, it always smells so freaking good and it's just so soft and of course it's squishy two ply. I don't think about one that wasn't a two ply. <laughs> one. <laughs> and it's not for me, so that's perfect. But you guys. Uh I'm so glad I finally bought this one. This is the one that I've been in love with forever. And he's finally home with me. Love it. I think of all the dyers, Kelly, I've probably bought the most from you because you have such sparkly yarn. And I love your sparkles. Now, while I was there, <laughs> I actually ran into a viewer named Jan. Hello, Jan. Um, I want to make sure I say this right. I'm probably going to slaughter it. Jan on Instagram is, I don't know if, I can't remember if she said it was AVI Designs, or if it's Avid Designs. I'm pretty sure it's Avid Designs, kind of like Avid Designs, but all together kind of thing. Um, she's pretty fantastic. She does a lot of patterns, so go check her out and follow her on Instagram. It was so great to meet you, Jan, and I am so happy you came up and said hi to me. It was really exciting. You were my first, <laughs> which sounds weird, and I'm sorry. But thank you. It really, it was really kind of fun to have. I had a couple of people come up and say, hey, I watch you on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm sure I was slightly awkward and I apologize. But it was really exciting for me anyway. So um, after I spent a little time with Jan and spent a little time chatting with Kelly, who I was there early. So I got to pick one of her envelopes. And I got 25% off, so I can either um, use that the next time I see her, or I can use it on her Instagram, Facebook, wherever. So that's really exciting, because we all know I'll be buying some more. I mean, it's, it has to happen. So, <laughs> very excited. Yeah. I just can't even. Oh, the sparkles. Miss Delina. Okay. <sighs> Composure, and we'll move on. So, a little bit after that, um, I ended up, I want to say it's Dances with Wool, but I can't remember, and their receipt does not have a name. It just says Fiber Expo. <laughs> I don't remember who it's from, and I didn't grab a card. Um, I bought something. I bought some fiber. It may look oddly familiar to you. <laughs> does this does this look familiar to anybody? Could it be because I I bought this one at the Fiber Expo 
or the fiber festival down south in the summer. Is that, does that look similar to, oh, this smells really good. <laughs> does that look similar to anybody? No? With the neon pinks and turquoise and black and sparkle. I did this on purpose. It wasn't just that, oh, I want that because it's pretty. I did, I did buy it from the same exact people and I did buy the exact same colorway on purpose. There was one sitting out again and I wanted to, oh, I smelled it too hard. I got hair on my lip. I wanted to buy an extra one when I saw it because A, the price is great. Um, but not only that, I wanted to have a lot of this because I want to desperately spin this by hand and turn it into some sort of shawl design. That is the goal, ultimately. Because look at that. That just screams shawl to me. Because I want this, I want to wear it here. It's sparkly and it's gorgeous colors. So, yes, I do already have one of these. And now I have two, because I want to have a lot of it. Ah. So that, I actually ended up um, last night, you guys, I was in such a, like, expo hangover, that when I got home with Abby, we put the boys to bed, and oh my gosh, you guys, it took me like two and a half hours to get there, and it took me over three hours to get home, because I had to also go up to Josh's grandparents' That's a 20 minute drive the opposite direction to go pick up the boys. So I was ready to get out of the car by the time I got home and I was not cooking. It was like six o'clock at night. So on the way back, I ordered pizza because um, Hungry Howie's has like a reward thing. So we had a free pizza. So I'm like, not only do I not have to pay for it, I can just go pick it up on the way home and you guys can all eat and I don't have to cook. So... I was exhausted. She was exhausted after walking around all day, all the excitement, and we ended up just crashing on the couch and watching Maleficent snuggle up for a while. And then when it was bedtime, well, we did we did facials together. And then um, when she went to bed, I I did some spinning because I realized I want to finish the other amazing yarn that I got from Kelly from the Miller Girls, the fiber that I bought from her last time. Um, I want to get that spun so that I can make that. Or spin that up and make something with it because I'm super excited. So I have a couple more purchases and other things. Um, I did run into a couple other fans, um, some of which actually chose not to be photographed or anything, which is completely fine. But I had a couple of little nice long chats with some girls and they were a lot of fun. And I got some really great tips. Um, like I was told that sometimes um, crocheting prior to knitting can really help with tension, which I thought was really cool. So I am going to definitely have to try that out. And I ran into, oh gosh, we made it, I think we made it through, I think we did make it through all the barns. So I'll keep going with my purchases first because I'm pretty sure we, we finished before we ate. So as I'm walking through, like I said, we ran into Cappy, um, who was doing her class. So I said hi to her real quick. And then... I'm trying to remember what order it went in. Um, I bought Abby a little finger puppet from one of those stands. It was super cute. It was like two bucks, little bunny finger puppet. We pretty much were like in and out by around 11.30, 11.45 the first time. Um, the end of the second barn is where I found a splash of car Splash of Color Yarns, who is Lisa Adcock. Um, she does have, it's an Etsy, because I kind of stalk around there every now and then. I've been looking for her when she gets her camo yarn, and she just got some on there a bit ago, but I knew I was going to see her here, so I waited until I came to see her. Um, Etsy.com slash shop slash Splash of Color Yarns. She also has Splash of Color Yarns.com. On Ravelry, she is mom to BSA. Uh, I know she's on Instagram, but her Instagram is not listed on here. I'm pretty sure it's Splash of Color Yarns. That's the back of the card. That's going to blow out. So, the first time I met her was at the Fiber Expo last year. Uh, last year. In April. In the Spring Expo. And she 
she actually had told me this story. I'm pretty sure I talked about this last time too. Where she had started dyeing yarn because she wanted to make camo yarn for her husband. So, <laughs> um, I did buy some camo yarn from her because she was the one I originally found it from. And I think it's fantastic. It is a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. There's 463 yards in here, you guys. That's a lot. A lot of yardage. Um, Woodland Camo is the name of it. Yeah. So, this is the one that I um, saw and thought I need to get that and make something for Josh. And he has... Um, since then requested like a ski mask of sorts one that like basically he wants like three holes and he wants eye hole nose hole and mouth hole so i've looked i haven't found a pattern for that quite yet so i might have to kind of adjust one or two and make it myself but it's really really cool yarn and I've seen it worked up. It has just the little pops of orange in it to give it that really cool effect. So I'm super excited to make something with this. I'll probably have to start pretty soon so that he can have it real quick here. It's almost time for gun season. So if not, he might get it next year because I have a lot of projects I want to do right now. <laughs> I love it though. And I was really excited to go and get some of this. She has so many gorgeous yarns. But by the time I got to her, I kind of spent majority of my budget. So I was really happy I still had enough to get this one. Because I had already told her I was coming for it. And I already told Josh I was coming home with it. <laughs> so there's that one. I think I have one last purchase to show. Um, now here's a fun story. Actually, we'll wait. Because that was after. So by the time... I got done with that. We went over, we were on our way to the next building and somebody had told us that there was a an Angora sheep shearing at 11. So we ran over to that because it was almost 11. Now mind you, this whole time, like the last hour, Abby was, I'm hungry, can we go eat now? I'm hungry, can we go eat now? At like 10 a.m. I'm like, let's just wait. We're almost through the buildings. Then we'll go eat and we'll come back and finish up. She didn't want to, she didn't want to do that. She wanted to be done at the second building, go eat, come back in and finish up the hen. But when she found out there was bunnies that were about to be shorn, we had to go watch the bunny shaving demo. So we went to the bunny shaving demo, which Abby, no, I have this, I have this one. Um, Wiley Woolies German Angora Rabbits by Susan Wiley. She is from Manchester. And she doesn't have like a website or anything, um, but she does have a phone number and an email and a P.O. box. And I'll put all her information, I'll just put all her information below, but there's her little card. She does have um, German Angora rabbits. She said she has four right now, and she's got some gorgeous yarn from them. Um, I think she said at one point in time she had 150 of these rabbits that she would cut all their hair themselves herself so we ended up watching two different demonstrations of her cutting hair but the second one we ended up spending more time talking to some people <laughs> than we did actually watching the demo the first demo though abby was just like zoned in she didn't say anything about food until after we were done because she was so excited about watching these little bunnies big bunnies excuse me these things were massive these big bunnies get their hair all cut off she is completely obsessed and she thinks she has to have one now and she's pretty sure that this should probably be her new career line that she's going to go into is raising bunnies for yarn purposes <laughs> which I mean I don't hate the idea but that's a lot of bunnies <laughs> so, and then of course after they got all their hair cut off they had to wear their little sweaters so that they wouldn't get too cold they were adorable Back over by them was also some alpacas, who were also equally adorable. And right next to the alpacas, there was a woman who um, had their angora rabbits, but they're not German angora. They were like silky angora rabbits? Satin angora? Something soft. And they were, 
They were really, really soft, fluffy little bunnies. They didn't have quite as much hair as the German Angoras, and they weren't quite as big, but they were really cute and really soft. And she did say that, I am going to have some babies that are ready for homes around December 21st. I'm like, of course you are. <laughs> so, um... Addie made sure to grab her card, which she has in her room, to hold on to for safekeeping. I will try and put her information in the down bar below in case anybody wants some bunnies. <laughs> After that, we finished going through um, the first demo. We were making it towards the end of the barn, and I found one booth. It, I believe it's just AJHC Wolf. I'm not sure if that stands for something. Obviously, I don't think that's a word. <laughs> but when I got there, I was looking at it, and I'm looking at the colors. It was in a different place than the last time we were there. I'm quite positive. But when I went, I think I had talked about this in the last Fiber Expo as well, I had found this color that I was immediately in love with called Zeus. And then I couldn't find the girl on the way out. I remembered it was them because the girl had a leather ruler wristband on. And I looked and I saw her, I'm like, leather wristband. I'm like, you. And she looks at me I'm like, do you have a color? It's like a turquoise -y, and it's named to like a turquoise tealy with dark speckles and it's named after a Greek god like Zeus. And she's like, I do, it's right there. I'm like, oh, yes. Hello, Zeus. <laughs> This one, I've had on my mind since April. I've been thinking about it. I've been looking for it. I'm incredibly in love with it. And it's, it's really just like a light, 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 light teal with these black and dark blue speckles. And again, I'm going to have to insert some pictures so that you can actually see some of this because it's all getting blown out with this light. I just don't want to focus. I'll pop in some pictures. But that's Zeus. And right next to Zeus, I'm probably not going to pronounce this one properly. No, Zeus, in case you didn't know, Zeus is the god of, I believe it's the sky and thunder. And I think it's so cool that they're all like Greek mythology names. I love when shops have a theme like that. Right next to Zeus, and because it was right next to it and it looked so pretty, I had to buy it, um, is, I don't know if it's Dionysus? Or Dionysus? I want to say it's Dionysus, but I could be wrong. D-I-O-N-Y-S-U-S. And he is the god of wine and fertility, basically. Hello. How pretty are you? Basically just this gorgeous light purple. Like a grapey purple almost. And then it has... The, the same black and blue combination running through it. And look at them together. Aren't they stunning? And again, I'm going to just pop some pictures in so you can actually see all this. Love it. So gorgeous. Now these, it gets even better. Um, I think they were like $7.50 for a mini. But I was definitely okay with it because there's 92 yards in here. For a mini, 92 yards is quite quite a good amount. Um, Northern Bee, theirs were only 5 bucks each. Like the cheapest minis I found. They they had 80 yards though. Yeah. And it's superwash nylon, sturdy sock. 80 yards. 92 in these guys. So it's still 20 grams, but it's 92 yards. And I was, um, obviously it's kind of a give or take, but. I was totally okay with paying the price on these. I desperately, desperately wanted this Zeus. I want to at least try out their yarn. And if I like it, I could definitely see myself getting getting a big one of these. She's got a lot of gorgeous colors, you guys. So I bought these two. And my mom's like, well, what are you going to do with two little minis? I'm like, well, there's 92 yards in here, first of all. So if you knit with them, they're going to go a long way. I could, I'm almost positive I'm going to design some sort of hat with these. Because I want these two to go together. Whether I might add some white or something in there to make some sort of breakup, I don't think so. Though I really just want to do, I really just want to do something with these two. I guess we'll see how it goes. But this is 
this is goals right here. This is um, a design in the making already <laughs> because I love them. So that is everything I bought. The dog is snoring. I'm pretty sure that's everything I bought. I got the finger puppet. My mom did buy her a really cute necklace. Um, who is it from? Anomalous Mind. Which, if that sounds familiar, it's because I have talked about her a couple times. She made my um, little round Harry Potter stitch marker. It's She makes these stitch markers, you guys, and they are simply stunning. They're just little round pieces of wood, so it makes them really, really lightweight. I love it. And then she, like, um, burns, like a wood burner, a symbol into it. There's, like, flowers and really cute little designs. And I bought the Deathly Hollow symbol. So, and they're only like five bucks. And she has an Etsy. So check her out on Etsy, Anomalous Minds. I'll I'll put her link below because I really love her. But my mom bought Abby a really cute necklace from them. Um, and then my mom found this bag by Thank God for Bags. And they have an Etsy shop. It's got a cute little key ring here. Just a little zipper pouch which I think is fantastic. I'm going to keep like my scissors and my needle holder and things like that in it for my projects so that they're not in with my yarn because it makes me slightly nervous. She does have a little tag. Thank God for bags and it's going to blow out. Again, I'll post pictures, but it's obviously cute little day is dead, which my mom knows I love. Hi mom. Super cute little notions pouch. So thank you mom. Now, after that, you guys, we went out to have some lunch. Ooh, I put my foot down. We went out to have some lunch at the little, um, like, carnival mobile food truck thingy. And we got some burgers and stuff and went, went back to the car because my car was heated and it was rainy and cold outside. And there was, like, some picnic tables in an area, but there was no heat or anything, so... We went back to the car, and as we're in the car eating, apparently that was social time. Around, you know, 12, 11 o'clock-ish, maybe noon. From 11, like 11.30 to noon, quarter after 11 to noon, I saw everybody. Out in the parking lot. <laughs> so I don't know if my eyes were just open because there wasn't yarn around for me to oogle at, but <laughs> I ran into pretty much everybody out there. First, I saw... Erin, who was walking by with her mom, and of course we took a selfie. Um, I think they were on their way out, so I only got to see her in passing, and we sat and chatted for a couple minutes, and she got a gorgeous necklace while she was there. I'm sure she'll talk about that. Now, Erin, if you don't know, is from uh, the Knitting, Knitting Envy podcast, so you definitely want to go check out her podcast, because she's pretty fabulous, so much fun to hang out with, and I really wish we would have had more time to talk again. We keep talking about setting up a day where we really need to find, like, a coffee shop and just go crash it. I'm pretty much sure I'm going to just, like, message each of these girls individually and be like, Hey, you're coming here on this day because we need to have coffee in it. <laughs> um, so I got to see her real quick. And then I went back to the car and was eating some more. And I looked in my mirror. Because my mirror, I was right behind one of the doors. Like, between the door and the bathroom for her. <laughs> For the um, entrance exit door right closest to the bathroom. I was like right in between them. So every time I'd look up in my mirror, I'd be like, oh crap, there's Tiffany and Ethan. I have to go say hi. <laughs> now Tiffany, Tiffany and Ethan, if you, I don't think she's posted anything yet, but oh my gosh. She didn't get there until later in the day than she had planned because they always have the worst luck with road trips and car issues. Are like, they're jinxed in that way somehow. If you haven't watched their um, podcast, which is The Wool and Homestead, you need to go check them out, too, because they're fantastic. But they pretty much always, anytime they go somewhere, there's an issue. <laughs> but I ran into them. Um, you'll notice Abby in this picture is holding a proper pineapple button because I also ran into Holly and her family. <laughs> And Abby was so excited to meet Holly's daughter, Star. They had, like, an instant click. Not even kidding you. 
Um, we ran into her there, and they talked for a minute, and then we ran into her later inside at the second bunny shearing, where I sat and chatted with Holly, and Al, finally, I was looking for Al, because I knew she was supposed to be there. Um, if you don't know Al, Al is Holly's best friend, Holly from the Papa Pineapple. Um, she goes by Ally Mama Cat on pretty much all the things, I believe, and she's, she's so sweet, and she's so fantastic, and we were all sitting there chatting, and... All of a sudden, Holly and I are like, our daughters are gone. Like, they're just over in their own little world, blabbing up a storm. It was crazy. Normally, Abby is, like, at my hip. But she was just like, boop, gone. Instant best friend. It was insane. <laughs> so, but it was really sweet. So, um, that also gave Holly and Al a chance, uh, Holly, Al, and I a chance to sit and talk. And we're, we're pretty sure we need to set up a, a hangout time, not only for the girls, but for us. <laughs> we're like, we need to go to YarnCon together, and we need to go here, and we need to do this, and we need to, yeah, fun stuff. So, while we were there chatting, Al hands me this package. It's heavy. She says, um... This is for hitting your one year mark. I don't know if you're going to do an episode or whatever. So she hands me this package and I'm like, thank you. And she sealed it right in front of me. So I'm like, well, I can't just open it now. <laughs> so I had to wait. But it was so sweet for her to even give me something. So I'm, I'm really excited. Now I should probably wait until my one year mark, which is like middle of November. But I can't wait that long, so we're going to open it right now. <laughs> I opened this part, but everything else is wrapped, so I had to wait and open it on video. And my mother is dying because she wanted to know, what in the world did Al give you? So I have to take pictures of this and show my mom, okay, empty, <laughs> show my mom what, what you sent me, Al. So I hope you're not mad that I'm opening this now because um, I didn't want to wait. <laughs> I'll still, I'll still do a, a thank you recap maybe on my one year. It's, it's close enough to a year. So, this is heavy. It's like a spiral. I'm guessing it's some kind of book. I promise it's not open, see? <laughs> I'm really, really sorry if this is loud and crinkly. Oh! It's a notebook and it says, Oh, you need us love. Oh, and it's teal! Oh my goodness, look at that! Ah! I don't know where you found this, but it's like holographic too. <gasps> this is amazing! Oh my god! I love notebooks too. I have to write everything down. I mean, I'll, write, I'll start using this as like a pattern notebook. Because it has to be something special with, with the owls. I love it! Thank you, Al. So there's, there's more. There's a little bag here, too. You're so ridiculously generous. Okay. So I'm going to open this little bag for a hair clinking. yellow which actually matches one of the yarns I got in the mini skeins to go with this one a gorgeous green one a white one and like a really pretty burgundy Let's see if I can, there we go those are adorable I love all the owly goodness oh these have to become like I want to say stitch markers but I almost just kind of want to like hang them on something too <laughs> Good. Okay, there's one more bag. Get this out of the way. This is squishy. It's taped up really well, too. Hmm. Okay, 
Okay, so I just recorded like a whole section of me fawning over the next part of this present, only to find out that my phone stopped recording because it ran out of memory. <laughs> so I had to move some things over real quick, and the boys both woke up and are upset and in bed with me, so apologies. But let me go ahead and re-record this um, and try to try to uh, provide the same incredible ridiculous emotion that I just had. <laughs> Daddy's at work baby. Okay. Right now. So Al sent me or gave me some amazing yarn. You guys this yarn is insane. This one is from the lemonade shop and at the last recording when I thought I was recording I squealed like a crazy person when I read the name is Toxic Hippo. I'm not even kidding you. This is literally called Toxic Hippo. It's on their Mighty Sock, and it's uh, 463 yards, 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon. Look at this yarn. It is gray, and it's got these pinks, greens, and blues, and like deep purples, and it's everything. It's basically... It's basically the best color I think I may have ever seen in my life. <laughs> and then she also gave me a Malabrigo yarn, which I've actually bought for my fiber share partner. And I know it's amazing yarn, but I've never worked with it myself. So I'm really excited to have one for myself. I've never worked with Lemonade Shop yarn either, but oh, this color. This one is called Reflecting Pool, number 113, and it's 100% Superwash Merino. I know I did this last time and it gave a pretty true right there. That's about what it really looks like, at least on my camera right now. This is amazing. Al, you are so incredibly generous and I love you to pieces. <laughs> it, I, I moved the, I had to move the notebook so that the baby could join me in bed, but oh, thank you. You are the sweetest ever, and I am going to make something incredibly awesome out of this. I think it's going to have to be a shawl project, and it might be named Al. Just, <laughs> oh dog, you're going to knock over my camera. I love this. These are literally my colors, and they're amazing, and you're amazing. Oh. She's not touching you, buddy. It's okay. I don't know how he can even tell. He's got like seven blankets and seven stuffed animals around him. So thank you. <laughs> I wish I could have caught my initial reaction on camera of how I was like freaking out and like almost in tears. I won't lie. <laughs> um, but children got me very distracted and then I got very upset when I realized that none of that recorded. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Apparently... Oh, okay. Um, there's a little bunny charm. I have no idea where this came from. I don't know if this is from you, Al, or if this was from something else. Let me know if this is from you. Or if it came with, like, a yarn or something. I might have to become Abby's. <laughs> um, it's going to show up. There you go. That's adorable. I have no idea where it came from. It just was staying on my bed. I don't know if it maybe it came out of this package. I don't know, but he's adorable. I feel like it goes with the Malabrigo yarn for some reason. Maybe I'm crazy, but it's super cute. So there's a bunny charm from somewhere. Thank you, Al. Thank I know I've said like thank you like twelve times now, but thank you again. Um And then while we were outside God, who else did I mention? Now I'm going to get confused. We ran into Aaron and Holly and Ethan and Tiffany. And inside I also ran into Stacy from uh, Stress Knits. Um, I got to see her cute little baby. She's so precious. And it was really nice to meet Stacy. I'm like, you don't probably know me, but I know who you are. <laughs> and I told her, I'm like, I'm from Hotel Owls. And she's like, yeah, I've heard your name. I'm like, okay, cool. So I don't feel like a total creeper. Because I'm like, you know, I feel bad. Like, it's really kind of awkward to be like, hi, I watch you. Like, 
I get it. <laughs> so, um, while I was outside, I also ran into, I hope I say this right, Traika? Traika? I'm sorry if I just said that wrong. Um, she has an Etsy shop called The Cotton Stash. Um, and she goes by at Traika, I say at, she goes by Traika1 on um, Instagram. And she watches the podcast and she came up and said hi while I was out. I don't remember who I was talking to. Holly, maybe? I think I was talking to Holly when she came up and said hi to me. Um, and she got her picture taken with me and she's like, I'm going to hang out in my craft room. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's really cool. <laughs> so it was really, really nice to meet you and chat with you for a bit. Um, thank you so much for stopping me and talking to me. And you guys, I did end up, I didn't even know she had an Etsy shop until I followed her on Instagram. Um, I don't know if I followed her before or after I met her. I think it was, I don't remember. But <laughs> well, I followed her on, on Instagram and I saw that she has an Etsy shop, which is, like I said, um, Etsy.com slash shop slash the cotton stash. I wrote it down. And her link will be below as well. And she has some really cute bags. Like, she has a Doctor Who one. And it's the TARDIS, but it's like a corner of the TARDIS. So you see like two sides of it, but it's like these weird geometrical shape cut out. It's so freaking cool. So definitely go check her out and see what kind of bags she's got because they're pretty amazing. And again, thank you for stopping and chatting with me. I really enjoyed it. Um, I know I ran in, I actually ran into like five or six people, but I didn't get pictures with all of them. Like I said, a couple didn't really want pictures, but I had some real lovely conversations with you guys and thank you so much for coming. I know there was a couple that I didn't get to meet. Um, I want to say it's Rachel? I'll put your names in because I know there's a couple, well, I won't even put your names in, but I know there's a couple of you that I talked to that were going to come and I didn't even get to see you because I was pretty much out of there. I think we left around two because we went through all three barns and then we went out and had lunch where, like I said, was oddly the place where I ran into the most people. Um... And then we came back in and went through a couple of times, watched the other bunny shearing, and we were out of there around two. But we spent we spent a quite large portion of time talking with um, Holly from the Proper Pineapple and her family. And Holly had all her buttons with her, so she gave me some of her buttons that I didn't have. Um, I have the big Proper Pineapple button, but she gave me the crochet, not just for grannies. And of course, none of them are going to pop up because my camera phone sucks. She gave me the Namaste Home and Crochet. <laughs> the Yarn Connoisseur. And Yarn Cake, please. And I'm like, it's, I feel like I should wear this right now because it's kind of like, um, I'll wear this one right now. It's kind of perfect for the holiday that is upon us of Halloween. <laughs> it looks like a little candy corn. <laughs> so thanks for the buttons, Holly. They gave some to Abby, too, and she was over the moon. She had so much fun, and literally the entire way home it was, so when are we going to set up a play date so I can go see Star? So when are you guys going to get together so that Star and I can hang out? Star and I like this, and we both like this, and... Blah, 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 blah. and we're instant best friends and she's so cool and can we call her and can I talk to her and can we text her you guys I was in the car with her for three hours literally I was in the car with her for three hours after this of hearing nothing but okay can we can we get together with with Holly and Al well actually she didn't call her Holly she called her the pineapple lady she knows your name, Holly. I promise she does. But she just likes calling you the pineapple lady. <laughs> so it's like, oh, Holly, look at our little our little pineapple owls. <laughs> little pineapple owlette. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go home and like doodle pineapple, like a little owl shaped pineapples. <laughs> so, yeah, we, um, we are going to have to plan a, a getaway where we can let the kids all go tear things up and... <laughs> We can sit and crochet and knit and blab because we really just sat there and talked for freaking ever. I think I spent, I think we 
spent like half, at least half an hour to an hour just sitting there during this bunny shearing demonstration talking. It was good times. After we finally pulled away from each other, um, Abby went over and felted a little bookmarker at one area because they had that for free, which was really cool. And I'm trying to think what else. Pretty much all I think we did. Um, I did take some videos while I was walking around of a couple different places. I did get some footage from the Miller Girls booth, which hopefully I will have either inserted some in the beginning or throughout, or you know what, we might just put it in here at the end. So if you are interested in watching um, videos from the actual Fiber Festival, just me like walking around and showing off the yarn and what they had there, then that will be following, following this. Because really, at this point, I think I'm pretty much done. Which I'm sure you're happy about because this has probably been like five hours, right? I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and um, following me along in this craziness of the Fiber Expo. I had so much fun and I cannot wait for the next um, festival that they have going on. I know they have another one. The next one is in April. It's the 13th and 14th in 2019. I'll pop a picture in. So if anybody wants to come to the next one, it's in April. And I will be there. I guarantee it. Um, I believe I said there's another show coming up soon. So hopefully maybe we can try and go to another one. I think she said there's one like over here somewhere. Over here. Thank <laughs> you for watching. I had such a great time. I can't wait to do it again. And thanks again to everyone who said hello. I had such a great time meeting you guys. Um, it was great. And I will, I will check in with you guys later. Just opening up his fleece now with the scissors. So I can get find a good
in your little face. <laughs>